You have definitely heard about such a device as Thyrotron. Let's try to understand what it is. A Thyrotron is a gas discharge rectifier with one or more supplementary electrode grids. The beginning of the current flow through the Thyrotron is regulated by potential supply to these grids. Thyrotron is a kind of highly sensitive relays that can be switched on, lit, but cannot be turned off without de-energizing the anode. There are two basic types of Thyrotrons, cold cathode and glow cathode ones. We'll dwell on cold cathode Thyrotrons. Design features, technical parameters and specifications determine the following advantages of cold cathode thyrotrons. High efficiency, simplicity of design, small size and weight. Ability to conduct high current in pulsed mode. Relative stability of characteristics, durability, high vibration resistance, wide operating temperature range and low starting current at high input resistance. would like to specify a few features of these devices. The role of the control grid of a thyrotron differs significantly from its role in a usual three electrode tube. In the triode grid, the value of the anode current can be changed by voltage at any point of time, and in the thyrotron, the grid voltage can be controlled only at the moment of the discharge ignition. After the moment of discharge ignition, the grid loses control of action, and current passes through the device as if there was no grid. Ignition control in a cold cathode thyrotron may be carried out by two methods current, current churn, change in the control electrode, and potential, potential change at the control electrode. Current control is characteristic of triode thyrotrons with one control electrode grid. Potential control is characteristic of tetrode thyrotrons with two control electrodes grids. In the two grid thyrotrons, the first grid provides the trigger spark facilitating and stabilizing the process of discharge in the anode circuit. The current limited with serious resistance is constantly flowing through the grid. The second grid is used to control the ignition voltage at a certain constant voltage at the anode. A positive bias voltage is applied to it. This voltage is less relative to the cathode than the voltage at the first grid, but insufficient to unlock the thyrotron. In order to unlock the thyrotron, a positive start pulse of sufficient amplitude and duration is supplied to the second grid through a coupling capacitor. Thus, a simplest pulse length modulator is obtained as compared with one grid thyrotrons. Two grid thyrotrons have more stable control mode and ignition characteristics. Where do they use these devices? Cold cathode thyrotrons, glow discharge thyrotrons, are low power control devices and are designed to be used in ladders, electronic pulse equipment, computers, relaxation oscillators, and other low power devices. For example, in a number of TV sets produced in our country, the glow discharge thyrotron TH4B is used as a vertical scanning master oscillator.